Okay, so in this video, we're going to create this rather exhilarating, funky, circular animation effect. And it's very, very easy. You're going to try and keep it under uh, five minutes as usual. Let's dive straight in. Create a new composition. Uh, let's make it 1280 by 720 so it renders quickly. 30 frames a second and duration, say, 250 frames. It's like what, eight seconds-ish. Let's create a new solid, black, and lock it, because we don't need to do anything else. So we just want to click the ellipse tool, and if you just double click it, it creates a, an ellipse right in the center. Now the first thing we want to do is go into ellipse down here, and under ellipse path, Change the size to 720 by 720, so it's actually circular. Okay. Now, let's increase the size. Uh, let's turn off fill and make the stroke uh, wide, much wider. Let's say uh, 500, and maybe 400. And, okay, let's just start uh, animating this. So let's start with a simple scale animation. Okay, so let's go to frame 10 and let's first add a trim path, which is basically, it's gonna be the kind of on off animation. Put a keyframe on end, make it zero. Come to frame say 70 and make it 100. So we have this type of animation. Now let's go to scale, so if you just hit S, put a scale keyframe on frame 10, put one on uh, frame 70. If you just click this small diamond here, it basically adds a keyframe with uh, these values. Now let's go back to 10 and make the scale zero. So now we have uh, this type of animation. Now we just wanna change one thing uh, on the stroke Let's make the butt cap a round cap. Butt cap. Okay. So we have a very basic animation. Let's also add uh, a rotate. So if you just hit R, brings up the rotate uh, property. Keyframe, keyframe on 70. And then on frame 10, as you know, frame 70, let's add one rotation. Just put a one here, means one rotation. So now we have this shape, okay? Also, one final thing, let's just add a stroke width animation as well. So go to stroke, stroke width, keyframe, keyframe on 70. Oh, by the way, if you use J and K, these two shortcuts, they basically jump between uh, keyframes. So, so J and K, pretty useful. On frame 10, I'm just gonna put, uh, say, 80. Another useful shortcut is Control shift h or Command shift h and it basically turns off all the handles and uh, gizmos on the screen, so you can just watch the pure animation. Okay, now let's duplicate this. So, Control d Command-D, let's change its color make it red and hit R and let's just uh, change its start let's put this let's put to one zero and then the end position uh, as you know let's just say uh, 135 degrees start and say 180 at the end. So now we have a slight offset, which is good, because you don't want things to be animating like exactly at the same time. Uh, you want to put like offsets on your animations. Okay, so let's just adjust the size of the ellipse, the second shape, uh, contents, ellipse, remember size, under a ellipse path. Just reduce the size. Let's actually look at the end frame here. So let's have it look like that. Uh, stroke's a bit thick. Let's go to stroke, adjust the width, 
yep maybe the start width should be like 50 so now we're just basically fiddling with uh, the keyframe values now I'm gonna show you an interesting secret if we go to taper you can set the start length to a hundred to make it look like a kind of like a drop like a sperm <laughs> the problem is this this end frame see what happens so we can basically keyframe that so keyframe on taper start length and say put one on put one on uh, frame 40 and by the time it gets to 70 let's just kind of turn it off so put it back to zero so hopefully ooh, you can catch it so should we maybe yeah do it like you have to kind of do it subtle eh, subtle enough isn't it so let's just play that back right. obviously speeding it up helps as well but right now let's just watch it kind of slow I'm just gonna shorten my comp okay okay uh, duplicate it again let's change the color again let's make it blue primary colors and what are we gonna do you guessed it make it smaller ellipse path make the size smaller obviously a uh, stroke width kind of goes crazy so let's adjust the stroke width oh here's a useful shortcut if you hit U, so select the layer and hit U, it shows you just the keyframed uh, properties very useful so stroke width is here let's make it uh, reduce it make it maybe 20 in the beginning okay and the problem is again it's moving at the same speed so let's just fiddle with uh, the rotation what you can do is you can come to like the middle of the animation and just kind of adjust it and then you can kind of push it back and overwrite the previous frame it's a dirt, dirty little trick uh, it's not rotating enough so at the end frame let's have it do two rotations uh, that's better maybe three because it's the smallest one it's a little thick at the end so if we reduce stroke width we'll have to increase size which doesn't have a keyframe say like that yeah okay that was pretty lucky looks not bad and that's it guys and the rest is basically just creative directing